Right now at 6, President Biden is expected to address the nation tonight in what's being called the soul of the nation speech in a prime time speech tonight as voters prepare to cast midterm ballots. Ryan Jenkins spending the day speaking with voters here in southeastern Wisconsin ahead of that speech. I spoke with voters in several communities in the southeastern part of this battleground state today. Some say they're fired up more than ever before, ready to cast their ballots. Others are saying that the divisiveness that we're experiencing during this time is discouraging them from staying politically involved. Thank you. Voters in Milwaukee. I wish things were kind of in a better spot or people weren't as divisive and able to come across and resolve issues more together. And in Oak Creek. I don't know if I'm more geared up than I have been in the past, but I just feel something has to change. Sharing mixed feelings ahead of the president's speech Thursday, President Biden set to address the nation from Philadelphia, laying out a message indicating America's democracy is at stake. That message set to be received by voters, some of whom are feeling discouraged with just 10 weeks until Election Day. It can be kind of like overbearing seeing that so much and it like kind of deters me from wanting to go out and maybe doing something. But For 20 year old Jack Kaminsky and his friend Ruben Fent, the political cycle is daunting. It's very easy for us to like be really discouraged. Like why is this stuff even being like argued over? We have to like still have hope because the voting is the only way we're going to actually get something to happen. For others like Lynn Dixon Speller, the election cycle is encouraging. I'm feeling very fired up. I mean, so many strong issues are on the ballots, uh, dealing with women and, and children and school and education. The speech will be watched closely in Wisconsin, a battleground state with two very different political figures vying for office. Republican businessman Tim Michaels wasn't available to meet or provide a statement by deadline Thursday, but has been outspoken on his website regarding his plan to address voter integrity. On day one, I will call a special session of the Wisconsin legislature to fix the election map and ensure the integrity of every single ballot. Michael's plan includes, in part, a ban on unmanned ballot drop boxes and repealing WEC election guidance. Meanwhile, we were there as Governor Tony Evers toured a school today in Racine. He, too, mentioned voter integrity ahead of the president's speech, but had a different take. We have a democracy that things are a little iffy now because, you know, we still are have people that have claimed that uh, the last election in, right here in Wisconsin didn't uh, turn out the way it should have, and that's all, frankly, malarkey. Politics aside, voters say while they may be divided on issues, they're all hoping for more unity in the community in the months ahead. We are divisive, and I would like to see us become more of a, a joined country that, we, you know, things are working well in our favor. Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.